Hello friends, it's about 8.30 in the morning right now, it's super cold out, so that's why I'm not wanting to get up at this point, but like, it's really warm inside of my sleeping bag, my hands are just cold trying to film this, but it's super foggy out, like, I think we're either like in a cloud or like fog rolled in or something, but it looks super pretty. But uh, at some point I'll have to get up and start making breakfast. But right now I'm just enjoying laying here and enjoying the pretty trees. I slept decently well for the most part. But like I woke up at 3 o'clock and was up for a while. Just couldn't fall asleep. And then I remember being up at 6 but, like, I'm tired, but I'm not exhausted, so I guess I got some sleep, but, like, for a while, I was just like, can I fall asleep again? Oh. Well, I've, uh, boiled the water, and, uh, now I'm gonna make some, some oatmeal, but I'm gonna put some other... things in to spice it up a little bit so I've got some uh, some sliced apples I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in some raspberry jam and uh, some peanut butter it might be absolutely disgusting but I really kind of want to try it and see if I can do some some strange cooking out <laughs> out here so uh, let's, let's get this started Off. I don't know whether I ran out of fuel or whether. Here, yeah, you put your you put yours in first, okay. and then I'll do mine. What? what? Do you twist? Hmm? Do you twist it off? You can just pour it with that on. Oh, okay. I've turned it off. No, actually, it's pretty good. I wasn't sure what to think, because I didn't know if raspberry and apple oatmeal would mix, like raspberry jam and apple oatmeal, but actually pretty good. Let's taste it with the peanut butter. Not bad. Yeah, this was definitely a good choice. Well, breakfast was actually pretty good. Now I'm just uh, enjoying... A nice cup of mint tea, um, but we're gonna have that and then we're gonna pack up and hit the road. We basically packed up, we just gotta pack up breakfast, but uh, yeah, so that's what our where our camp was. But it's yeah, we packed that up. All we gotta do is take down the ridge line, uh, but I'll enjoy my tea and then and uh, Isaiah will finish his food and then we can uh, head out. Well, after a good meal and uh, some tea, we're ready to get on the road, so uh, well, I'll probably see you as I come down the mountain, but uh, we're, we're on our way now.
Well, we uh, we've been hiking for a little while now, but we uh, we found a beautiful view, and uh, the the sun's finally out, which totally killed the uh, the fog. But just this view looks so pretty. But uh, that's the trail we'll be going down, marked by the the markers. But yeah, it looks like we'll have a beautiful trail to hike on and actual some views. Well, we made it to the top of Emperor because we were on Emperor North last night when we slept, but look at these views. Just beautiful. But it's crazy how much snow we've got on the ground. Like this is supposed to be November, but I guess Souk doesn't ca care about what we think in San Inter Victoria, so it does its own thing, but just wow. Like, I wish I had views like this that I could wake up to like every morning, but uh, yeah, just impeccable. Well, it turns out I should actually look at a map before I open my mouth because the last summit was actually just the true summit of Emperor North, and now we're actually on Emperor. Um, you can see Empress just across the way, but uh, Emperor North, in my opinion, is a little more exciting, but now we can say we've done both Emperor and Emperor North, so kudos to us, I guess. I'll see you in a bit. Well, we found yet another peak on Emperor Mountain, but uh, we found this little cairn, which I think is pretty cool. Or I think it's called a cairn, uh, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, the views on this peak are definitely better than on the other summit that we we were at. So I'm glad we were able to do this one and get a, a proper view from the true emperor. Um, but yeah, we're uh, currently dying because there's a lot of uphill again. So uh, yeah, it's definitely quite the workout. Well, we're on, we found the trail again because we kept on losing it because these trails are horribly marked and just badly maintained, but we're finally able to uh, make our way down now, which is a relief because we just kept on summoning peaks it felt like. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to go home. <laughs> well, we've made it down the mountain. Now we just gotta follow pretty much this trail or stream bed, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, we follow that until we hit the Peden Lake and then I think it's Todd Trail or something like that. And then uh, I believe that takes us down to the Goose and then basically the same route once we hit the Podden, or the Peden Todd Trail as uh, the, the hike I did last week. But uh, yeah, it should be a pretty... Well, because the, uh, the stream we were walking in as the trail wasn't enough, it decided to add a waterfall and uh, make it quite a bit louder and uh, wetter. So this is gonna be quite fun. Well, we've uh, gotten down to the Peden Lake Connector Trail, and now we're just, we decided to go down the uh, the Peden Lake Trail instead, and just kind of go back the way we came, because uh, it's a bit faster. We got things to do today, so just trying to speed through it to get back. But uh, while I was going through that stream bed, I actually put my foot in this giant puddle, and so now one of my feet soaks. But uh, I got wool socks on, so it's not too big of an issue. But that was not the not the greatest in the feeling feeling in the world when it happened. But it is what it is. But uh, we should be hopefully back at the the car in the next half hour, 45 minutes, something like that, depending on how fast we hike. But I'm going at quite a decent clip right now, so we should be back reasonably soon.
Well, we uh, we made it back. Um, not exactly sure where my friend is. I kind of just started going at a super pace, um, but yeah, I'm excited to get in the car and get these boots off and stuff because I think I'm feel feeling the beginning of a uh, blister, but all in all, great hike, um, great camp. It was definitely interesting trying a, a hammock because I've never done that before, but I'll, uh, I'll maybe try it again, um, but uh, thanks for coming along and I'll see you on the next one.